Do you remember when Alex Rodriguez, that once was the eye catcher of Major League Baseball? He was one of the greatest batters of all time, until one season he had to sit out. Well, Rodriguez got caught using PED while still playing in the MLB. Some of you might ask or think to yourself, what is PED? Well, PED is per, per, well, it stands for Performance Enhancing Drugs that are used to improve any form of activity performance in people. The most common PED is known as an anabolic steroid. These kind of drugs have been around and affected sports longer than people can imagine. Since early Greek times, enhancers have played a role in athletes' lives. The first recording of a player's attempt for increasing performance occurred in the 8th century BC Greek Olympics. Afterwards, people were looking for the next big performance enhancing substance. Drugs became more and more dangerous as years went by. Now that we know what performance enhancement drugs are, let us compare the benefits to the risk of using them. Comparing the benefits to the risk of using these drugs. Who doesn't want to stand out on the court in front of a huge crowd? Every athlete who participates in extracurricular activities wants to be elite. That is why these drugs are becoming so common across the globe. PED can enlarge people's muscles quickly because of the amount they can possibly take. Not only will someone look like the Incredible Hulk in a year, but he may also run like Usain Bolt. Steroids increase endurance by creating more red blood cells. Everyone wants to win, and if he can do it by barely putting in work, then why wouldn't he? Especially when they are all over the market for a fairly decent price. But in contrast, these po po positives are not worth the negatives. Athletes are putting their health, achievements, and overall image in jeopardy. Now we've looked at the risk, it, it is time to look at some of the side effects that can, be, can come with taking PEDs. The side effects that come along with it. Even if users look good on the outside, their bodies are slowly deteriorating on the inside. People usually don't feel the effects until it is too late. In 1904, Thomas Hicks won the marathon at the St. Louis Olympics. And soon after he crossed the finish line, he collapsed and was too weak to collect his medal. It took four doctors and one hour to get Hicks off the ground. Later, officials found out he had mixed drugs to get the medal. Once they discovered this, Thomas no longer got the gold medal. Teenagers who put PED in their bodies usually look short and stocky later in life. Users also don't realize how deadly these substances can be as evidenced by some athletes in the past. For example, Gordon Kimbrough, a bodybuilder who was a, on strict diets for years, used drugs to build an impressive 240 pounds with only a 5 foot 10 inch frame. In 1993, he went on a road rage that caused him to stab and strangle his girlfriend to death. Friends and fellow bodybuilders believed the steroids betrayed him in the end and ruined the rest of his life. Women use steroids too. Girls can begin developing male characteristics. They also may experience not just physical traits, but mental ones too. Some common symptoms occur between men and women. If the steroids are taken, athletes are left to experience issues such as acne, bloated appearance, clotting disorders, and weight gain. As you can see here, we have my visual image, which is about potential negative side effects on what could happen if you use these substances. Well, now let us take a closer look at the ways PEDs are consumed and the dangers it can cause. There is no correct way 
to take performance enhancers, they are all dangerous. The most common way to consume these drugs is by injecting them into the human body. The full effects can be seen quicker because it is going straight to the athlete's bloodstreams. By doing so, they are taking the chance of getting HIV or AIDS. This risk arises particularly from sharing needles and injection equipment. One wrong move, one time, could create a lifelong disease. Other people who don't inject them into their body decide to take them orally. If they consume them through their mouths, the pill has to bypass through their liver. As it goes through the liver, it can cause a condition called cholestasis. This causes a fluid made in the liver to leak into the blood. Some symptoms people experience include itching, nausea, and dark urine. If the user starts to notice any signs of negativity, he cannot just quick and think those symptoms will go away. They stay in the human body longer than that. Well, after looking at all the side effects and symptoms, we can conclude that performance enhancing drugs are affecting lives and sports. They are a bad product for several reasons, and an athlete may be able to live under the spotlight as a superhero for a little while, but it will not last long. Eventually, the player will be looked at as a coward to the sport and turn into a nobody. They tend to give athletes an unfair advantage that is known as cheating. They can literally destroy their lives in the long run, but maybe not right away. Hard work will eventually pay off, but nor if one decides to take the easy way out. They will end up living the rest of their life in regret and wanting to redo it. Alex Rodriguez is one example proving the risks athletes take by using performance enhancing drugs. Thank you for watching.